Good morning children. Today we are going to see a lesson the wizard's spell. The wizard's spell. Right, now coming to the lesson which is called as the wizard's spell. Now the story has four major characters. Okay? Alicia, Rohit, Neha, Ajay. Alicia, Rohit, Neha, Ajay. Okay, now all of you open your textbooks. Okay, and see the textbook when I am reading the paragraphs. Alicia, Rohit, Neha and Ajay were walking back from their school. They were the best of friends and also neighbors. They enjoyed their walks and talked all about the teacher. They all liked their lunchbox treats and other such topics happily. Alicia, Rohit, Neha and Ajay are four friends, okay, and also neighbors, okay, they are of uh, mostly your age and all. So, they were walking back from the school, that means they went to the school and after the school is finished, they are coming back home. So, they were best friends, they were best friends and also neighbors. So, when they were coming back to school, they used to come by walk on foot. Okay, so when they were coming back, they used to discuss very happily about the teacher they liked. So you'll also have a teacher whom you like most, isn't it? So they kept on talking about the teacher. They kept on talking about the teacher whom they liked very much, whom who really liked them also at the same time and uh, their lunchbox. So what the lunch they have brought for that day, what are the specials they have brought for that day and also they used to talk about these kind of uh, topics very happily and they used to go to home. They were returning home one day. Now this was a routine for them and one day when they were returning home, Ajay he declared that he knew a shortcut. Shortcut is not the regular way going to home. So he said that I know a shortcut that means they can reach their home in a very short time very easily right so uh, there, there's I know a shortcut so let's go by the shortcut and always these four children were ready for doing any sort of adventure any kind of adventure which came across them so they were very happy wow uh, shortcut so definitely will go ahead that is what they thought of that and the complete group dis decided to try for it. So everybody in the group that is uh, Alisha, Rohit, Neha and Ajay, four of them, they thought that, okay, now it's a very good time for us. Let's uh, go ahead with the adventure. Let's go by the shortcut. So now they all started walking in the shortcut and suddenly for their surprise, with uh, something shocked them, they soon came across a violently purple colored mansion. So on their way, they saw a purple color mansion. It was strongly uh, painted with a purple color. It was a building which is not a regular kind of building. It was uh, looking a bit different from all the regular buildings. A mansion in the sense of a very big building here. So they have never seen such a building before. They have never seen such a building before. So they were actually shocked to see that building. They were surprised to see that building. So as soon as they came across that building, they were shocked and all of them stopped in front of the strange house and wondered who lived there. They all came to that house. They stopped there and they saw that house and they thought that who lived here? Actually, who lives here? This is a very strange building. Okay. Okay purple colored building so we really wonder who lives here that is the thought in there that is a thought in their mind now they decided to explore the house and walk towards it so they want to try they want to search they want to know something new about that house so they all thought that they should go into the house now it's a stranger's house. They have never seen such a house. And now they all decided to go into that house. It's a kind of adventure. Okay. They want to learn something about that particular house. So they want, they want to explore. They want to search. They want to try something 
new they want to learn something new about that house and they started going into the uh, to, near to the house and there was alicia right the first child alicia she said that no the people in it will probably be sleeping okay and she protested alicia protested and also at the same time she was scared she opposed the idea she said that no 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 we will not go to the house because by this time no like the people who are inside the house will be sleeping so why to disturb them so there's no need for us to go to go into the house so she protested she opposed she stopped them from going into the house and she was actually very scared and you know the reason she was giving is probably the people in the house might be sleeping but against their better judgment they were all drawn backwards the absurdly designing and totally out of place looking construction ajay knocked with the help of a big brass lion knocker whose tongue went in and out in a fascinating manner so whatever the decision they have made so apart from that they they, they were all actually scared so they not take this into consideration they never thought about that they all wanted to go inside the house and see what is inside so they they were looking at the uh construction which was foolish construction which was uh, not in a proper way okay the mansion so they came to that uh, particular house and you know ajay the second the last person you can see here the child ajay he went there to knock the door knocking the door was a like you no know, it's it's not like a regular doors and all there was a lion there was a lion mouth where the tongue was it was going inside and it was coming outside and there was a kind of hammer beside that so he knocked the door as soon as he knocked the door and everybody were appreciating the door wow what a door it is see how the lion is see the tongue how it is coming out and going inside so they were all talking this and the door opened on its own nobody opened the door but the door opened silently itself and the four friends they looked each other they did not trust what's actually happening they never expected the door to open itself they were actually waiting for somebody to come and open the door but here yeah, the door opened itself and they hesitated for a minute now they were really sure now they there was a doubt in their mind whether to go inside or not so whether to go inside or not so that's how so they they never wanted they so they hesitated that means they now had a second thought whether to go inside or not so after a minute of hesitation like that now they start they made a decision that they will walk in they will go into the house and see what is inside the house and they all four the four the four like uh, who are they alisha rohit neha and ajay four of them stepped inside the house and this house was actually very scary it was really frightening the fear was a kind of fear was filled in the four children it was lit up with some candles here and there and they were all flickering the light was not steady it was moving okay when the wind comes you know the candle light will keep on moving it will not be steady okay so it's moving so it's flickering flickering is moving unsteadily so it was flickering and they entered into the large and dusty room so when they entered inside it was a big room the lights were there they were flickering it was a large room and moreover it was really dirty and alisha alisha again she said that now actually we should leave because what if there are some ghosts so come on guys we should leave this place now because we don't know whether what actually you see maybe there are ghosts here because the door opened on its own this is a room where there are all candles and all isn't it so it's a bit scary so i think that the ghosts live in the devil sleeps here so better we leave this place and within no time neha said that alisha there are no ghosts there are no ghosts neha replied laughing a bit but at the same time she was nervous she was not confident on what she was talking she was actually worried she was also 
scared a bit. So she was nervous and said, she was laughing. Come on, Neha, there are no ghosts, you know. Uh, I, I don't worry about that. There are no ghosts. So she was worried at the same time. She was also uh, make, giving uh, Alicia kind of assurance that there are no ghosts in the home. So don't worry. If you are really scared, hold my hand. She said that, okay, anyhow, if you are really scared, you just hold my hand. So we'll walk hand in hand together inside. So don't worry, we are all here. <clears throat> they tiptoed towards a room with an enormous ornate chandelier. So they tiptoed in the sense they walked very, very silently. They walked in such a way that the, even their footsteps will not be heard. Okay, they walked on their toes. Slowly they came to the room. And there was a huge chandelier on the chandelier on the top. That's a scene, the Jumer. You'll say, no, like there will be lights and also it will be hung at the ceiling, which gives the light. And and after they came, they came, hey, look, Ajay pointed. It seemed there is somebody in the room beyond the sofa. Shall we go in? He looked at others with excitement. And now this man, the, the child Ajay, he said that, hey, come on, beyond that sofa, exactly beyond that sofa, after that sofa, there's a room and I can see somebody inside the room. So shall we go and see who is there in the room? So, and he was very, very excited to go inside. So very excited to go inside. Yes, let's go. Neha and Rohit replied together. So Neha and Rohit, both of them said that, yes, we can, we will go inside. Alicia was calm, but already she was scared and she was frightened so she did not give a proper answer but Neha and Rohit said that yes yes we'll go inside we'll see who is there in the room they walked toward the room the door was ajar so they slowly walked towards the room and the room the, the door was ajar ajar in the sense it was slightly open it was not completely closed it was slightly open that means you can peep inside the door and see what's happening in, in the room so it was a little bit open and the they when they went to the doorway and they peeped into the room and the room was dark and eerie they saw a huge table in the center of the room so the room was a bit dark it was eerie in the sense a kind of a strange room and also a frightening uh, Kind of scenario was there and there was a huge table in the middle and then in the room and uh, there was a short and stout man standing at the edge of the table so there was a short and stout man short man and also stout in the sense of a bit fat man standing at the table and the strange thing about him was he has having a large beard and strange attire so the man who is standing there is a short man He's a stout man, a fat man, and there was a very, very long beard. Okay. And also he was wearing strange attire, attire in the sense here, dress. He was wearing a strange dress. So completely, uh, complete with a pointed end. His dress was strange and also he has a hat and it has a pointed end. It has a pointed end. Candles were flickering in the room. Candles were moving unsteadily in the room and the candle light was the only source of light in the room so there were no tube lights and all so only the candle light was the source of light in the room and there were racks in the room where you keep all the books if you go to library you can find so many racks if you go to dmart you can find racks where all the items are kept so oh, those kind of racks were there and all books were kept there and they were overflowing they were not put in a order they were coming out and there were some strange jars in the rack, some colored, blue color, yellow color, green color, red color kind of bottles over there. So, and this man had a beaker in his hand. He had a small beaker in his hand, a kind of a bowl, okay, a beaker in his hand and he was chanting something. He was chanting something, he was talking something, okay, some kind of spells, you know, like he was talking something. And also he was looking into the a very, very big leather covered book. There was a book in the, on the table. It was covered with leather and he was looking into the book and then he was chanting something. 
some saying some kind of words outside which is not their language so suddenly the man looked at the door suddenly the man looked at the door and he saw that somebody is peeping into the room so he shouted them who are you show yourself to me or i'll make you invisible come on who are, who is there outside come on come on, come inside immediately if you don't show me or if you don't come inside okay otherwise if you don't come inside i will make you invisible that will make you disappear and he uttered angrily so it was an angered voice okay he uttered those words in anger and please don't do that we may no harm the children open the door sir 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 please don't do any harm to us don't do anything to us we are all small boys so we are not here to do any kind of harm so they opened the door and they all came inside and all these four were trembling with fear because the old man saw them and also asked them to come inside so now they were in a fear what are you doing here demanded the man so what are you doing here why are you inside why what are you doing in my home he demanded the answer he demanded the answer so we were coming back from the school and saw the house so what it, what they said is we are coming back from the school on a way we saw this house we saw this house and we got a bit interested and decided to explore this house we just wanted to see what is inside this house because it we, we thought that this is a kind of strange building we have never saw this kind of building anywhere so we just thought of uh, coming and exploring this building and that's all sir but who are you but who are you asked rohit so rohit got some uh, kind of uh, brave uh, st uh, strength to ask the question so he was a bit brave maybe so he asked a question saying that who are you so taking all the strength taking all the strength you know what will happen if uh, this man if this child is asking a question to that man he knows everything he knows the consequences but he still dared enough to ask him who are you and the man also did not say uh, he did not have a second thought he immediately said that my name is david solvan he said that my name is david solvan and i am a wizard i am a magician but my mother told me that there are no wizards said alisha rather thoughtlessly so alisha said that so she did not have a thought isn't it she never, she did not think of that and she immediately gave an answer that uh, sir but my mother said that there are no wizards there are no magicians my mother said that there are no magicians so but did she know rode the wizard for indeed he was one because he was one because he was one of the wizard because he was one of the magician he rode did she know does she know that there are no wizards he rode at the child and he said that i am the greatest wizard of all time i have magical powers he said that i am the greatest wizard of all the time i have magical powers i have magical powers magical powers the children asked in surprise tell us what you can do oh magical powers so all the children said that okay if you really have magical powers tell us what you can do what you can do so and the magician said i have the power to change any situation the wizard spoke loudly he said that i have the powers to change any situation any situation and all of them looked each other faces and they said that the power to change any situation okay and they were actually surprised and ajay asked what is the power of such a thing okay what kind of power is that how can you change a situation well you tell me any situation with my magical spell i can change it completely so you tell me any situation you give me any situation with my magic spell what i will do is i will change that situation for ever so and all the children they were looking him in distress they not believe what he has actually telling so they were all confused regarding that 
so and now the magician saw them that they were not believing in what he was telling so tell me what you, what change you want to bring in one of your lives okay then if that is the case tell me what kind of change you want to bring in your lives in any one of your any one of your lives not everybody in any one of your life you want to bring a change right you want to see some change in this situation so you tell me that i will change it for you and but i can change only one situation only once situation that is what he said okay